Good afternoon and welcome to the next short video in the Ahargana series. In the last video, we had seen the definition of something called Guru Varsha, which is part of Guru Mana. And the names of Guru Varsha were mimicking the names of Chandramasa. In this video, we will see the definition of something else called Samvatsara, which is also a part of Guru Mana. In fact, the definition of Samvatsara is exactly the same as the definition of a Guru Varsha. A Samvatsara is the time taken by Jupiter to traverse one Rashi. That's the same definition for Guru Varsha as well as Samvatsara. But in the case of Samvatsara, the naming convention is completely different. So I'm going to switch this animation in front of you to show Samvatsara instead of Guru Varsha. Otherwise, the model is exactly the same as what I used in the last video. Here is the entire Rashi Mandala starting with Meshadi, Mesha, Vrishabha, Mithuna, Karkata, etc. And I am starting with the hypothetical day 0 when Jupiter is aligned with Meshadi. So that we can nicely look at the movement of Jupiter. But now we are going to look at Samvatsara and Samvatsara number 1 is named as Vijaya. Vijaya Nama Samvatsara. Now, the modern definitions of Samvatsara we see today uh, actually begin with something called Prabhava Nama Samvatsara. And Surya Siddhanta begins with Vijaya Nama Samvatsara. So, I am going with the definition as shown in Surya Siddhanta. So, Samvatsara number one is Vijaya Nama Samvatsara. Now, as the Jupiter starts moving, I will start the animation now. So, it has come to the border between Mesha and Rishabha and let me go a few days. Now, Samvatsara number 2 has started and that is known as Jayanama Samvatsara because Jupiter crossed over from Mesha to Rishabha. So, every time Jupiter crosses this boundary between two Rashis, the Samvatsara name will change. Good. So, let us now go through the entire list of Samvatsaras. How many there are? Not 12. This time there are 60. That means Jupiter goes through five entire revolutions through the Rashi Mandala and there are 60 unique Samvatsara names. After that the names reset back to Vijayanama Samvatsara. Now why this 60 was arrived at is not very clear. Why this five rotations around the Rashi Mandala of Jupiter? not very clear. The Surya Siddhanta does not explain why it does it. In fact, it doesn't even give the uh, astronomical definition of uh, Jupiter moving through one Rashi. It simply says, this is the mathematical formula to determine which Samvatsara a given date belongs to. And working backwards from that mathematical formula, we arrive at this astronomical definition. So, now we are in Samvatsara number 2, which is Jayanama Samvatsara and I will start going through all the 60 Samvatsaras. Jupiter will go round and round and round. And let me try and see if I can pronounce the names of all the Samvatsaras because the naming convention is really what is unique here. Yeah? Otherwise, the concepts you have already seen in the previous video. So, we are in Jayanama Samvatsara. Manmata Nama Samvatsara, Durmukha Nama Samvatsara, Hemalamba Nama Samvatsara, Vilamba Nama Samvatsara, Vikharin Nama Samvatsara, Sharvari Nama Samvatsara, Plava Nama Samvatsara, Shubakrit Nama Samvatsara, Shobhana Nama Samvatsara, Rodhin Nama Samvatsara, Vishvavasu Nama Samvatsara, Parabhava Nama Samvatsara, Plavanga Nama Samvatsara, Kilaka Nama Samvatsara, Saumya Nama Samvatsara, Sadharana Nama Samvatsara, Virodhakrit Nama Samvatsara, Paridhavin Nama Samvatsara, Pramadin Nama Samvatsara, Ananda Nama Samvatsara, 
రాక్షసనామ సంవత్సర అనలనామ సంవత్సర పింగళనామ సంవత్సర కాలయుక్తనామ సంవత్సర సిద్ధార్థిన్నామ సంవత్సర భౌద్రనామ సంవత్సర దుర్మతినామ సంవత్సర దుంధుమినామ సంవత్సర రుధిరోద్ఘారిన్నామ సంవత్సర రక్తాక్షనామ సంవత్సర క్రోధననామ సంవత్సర క్షయనామ సంవత్సర ప్రభావనామ సంవత్సర విభావనామ సంవత్సర శుక్లనామ సంవత్సర ప్రమోదనామ సంవత్సర ప్రజాపతినామ సంవత్సర ఆంగీరస్నామ సంవత్సర శ్రీముఖనామ సంవత్సర భావనామ సంవత్సర యువన్నామ సంవత్సర ధాతర్నామ సంవత్సర ఈశ్వరనామ సంవత్సర బహుధన్యనామ సంవత్సర ప్రమాథిన్నామ సంవత్సర విక్రమనామ సంవత్సర భృష్యనామ సంవత్సర చిత్రభానునామ సంవత్సర శుభానునామ సంవత్సర తారణనామ సంవత్సర పార్థివనామ సంవత్సర వ్యయనామ సంవత్సర సర్వజిత్నామ సంవత్సర సర్వధారిన్నామ సంవత్సర విరోధిన్నామ సంవత్సర వికృతనామ సంవత్సర కరనామ సంవత్సర అండ్ ఫైనలీ నందననామ సంవత్సర ఆఫ్టర్ దిస్ వీ గో బ్యాక్ టు సంవత్సర నంబర్ వన్ విజయ నంబర్ టూ జయ అండ్ టు సో ఆన్ అండ్ సో ఆన్ మన్మత్ నామ సంవత్సర ద నెక్స్ట్ సంవత్సర సైకిల్ హెస్ స్టార్టెడ్ once again it's not very clear as to why 60 names were chosen no it may be possible that it's considered the human life span is 60 years shashtyabdha is a big celebration for uh, most men but the reason is not very clear it's not specified in the surya siddhanta now let me proceed to the next part of this video let me reset this animation now so the word samvatsara the idea of samvatsara is still used in the modern day panchanga but this definition which i showed you just now which is based on jupiter that is no longer in use instead samvatsara name has simply become another name for a sauravarsha or a chandravarsha as the case may be we have completely removed the definition based on jupiter i'll show you what that means so let me turn on the sun we have seen this before in the earlier video that uh, the sun orbits 12 times faster than jupiter so we are at vijayanama samvatsara according to the surya siddhanta definition so let me move the animation forward good now in 361 days jupiter will come to the end of vijayanama samvatsara now this is the end of vijayanama samvatsara and the next day we will shift to jayanama samvatsara on the screen you can see that but you see the sun has not yet finished one orbit sun has not returned back to meshadi so according to the modern panchangas we will still continue to call this saura varsha as vijayanama samvatsara one more day still vijayanama samvatsara still vijayanama samvatsara still vijayanama samvatsara now mesha sankranti has happened new saura varsha starts only now the modern panchanga will change the samvatsara to jayanama samvatsara whereas i showed you here this is the surya siddhanta definition is changed to jayanama samvatsara 4 days back 4 days earlier modern samvat uh, modern definition of samvatsara modern panchangas rather will be 4 days behind so those 4 days 
we are using the wrong samvatsara name and it gets worse so let me keep moving this forward let let this run for a few more samvatsaras <clears throat> durmukha hemalamba vilamba nama samvatsara vikarin okay let me come to the end of vikarin now i am proceeding step by step i want to come to the end of vikarin i am watching this dotted line here day by day we are approaching the end of vikarin nama samvatsara and any time now we change to sharvari nama samvatsara so according to surya siddhanta definition it is sarv sharvari nama samvatsara now but our modern panchangas will still call it vikarin nama samvatsara until the sun comes back here that is until one more rashi that means almost 30 days the modern panchangas will still keep using the previous samvatsara name which is vikarin in this case so according to surya siddhanta this is sharvari but according to modern panchanga all these dates will have the wrong samvatsara name this is because we have completely abandoned the actual astronomical definition of samvatsara which is based on jupiter's movement you simply used it as an alternate name alternate name for sauravarsha now if you are using chandravarsha same thing because chandravarsha will happen somewhere when the moon is somewhere here it will fall back 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 and then jump forward and adhikamasa is introduced we have seen that in earlier episodes so in the case of chandravarsha also it is same problem the problem doesn't go away we have abandoned the jupiter based definition and simply used samvatsara as another name for sauravarsha or chandravarsha that is the way it is today whether we like it or not that's the way it is we have we still think that it is based on jupiter but we don't practice it that way so that is it i wanted to cover and that's all there is in uh, gurur mana and with this i have covered all the manas which are defined in the surya siddhant with that i will close this short video here thank you very much for watching